In my lemma with the power glide. What? Okay, so what's up, everybody on YouTube? It is once again Two Bros Gaming HD coming straight at you with yet again a new video right here on the channel. Hope you guys are having a good day out there so far, and hope you make sure to work out every single day because that is how you get to the freaking top. So we have some other mods today that I'm gonna go ahead and view to you or showcase to you. I did already showcase the new semi tipper 7000, 70,000 from Black Ship Mining, but we do also have a new Holland TM series right here, which is indeed pretty cool. We do also have the Bison Super C056 right here, which is probably not that, the one that I'm gonna kind of use the most in the game. But this right here is from the mod creator called Pepe978. It's a medium high range of open fields. The TM200. 2002 TM series with TM 120, 130, 140, and 155 models. The price on this is 94,000 euros. It has a power from 120 horses to 155 horses right here under the bonnet. We do also have the Bison Subaru, as I did say, the CO56 right here. This is from Pass Cap, and the power output on this is 100 horses, Remax. 20 to 21 kilometers per hour it has a price on 84,000 right there so that is what we do have to deal with in this video let's get into the safe game of very important way i do showcase you guys all of the new mods so while we are waiting for this to load i want you guys to go ahead and hit the freaking thumbs up make sure to subscribe to tubers gaming hd and make a comment down below also what you think is the best right here of these mods so please smash the thumbs up. Let's go ahead and see if we can get this to 1000 likes. I don't think that's possible, but I surely hope so. Of course, I, um, I'm just going to check out how many likes the, the last video actually got. I'm just going to go ahead and check that out. So that's the new mod from Black Sheep Modding. Yep, it only got 33 likes, which is pretty bad, guys. So that is something you can definitely make up against and actually make better. So please go ahead and hit the freaking thumbs up on this if you haven't done that, of course, because that would be really great. Also, yeah, we are basically turning into this right here once again. And uh, it is going to be, I think it's going to be pretty cool to actually... Go ahead and do different kind of stuff with this new mod right here. The TM series is pretty good and pretty gnarly. So yeah. But we're going to go ahead and start it up right here. Let's go ahead and do that right away. We're going to get into the tractors. It's a medium range tractor, the TM. And we are, of course, going to go ahead and take the TM55 because that is the best one or the biggest one. We're going to take a front weight. Yeah, 700 kilograms. Trelleborg, Michelin, Trelleborg. White tires, New Holland restyling. No, we want the New Holland 2002 right here with the black logo on it. And then let's get into the combine section or harvesters as it is called right here. There's the Bison Super CO5056 right there, but we do also have it as a mod somehow or some why. Um, so we're gonna take it right there, change color to gray, change color to gray. What about the main color? Can I change that? We are about to find out. We want a darker gray. Michelin, Trelleborg, standard, narrow tires. Number. Number seven. That's if you have like more. There's different H's on it. Main color. Yeah, you cannot choose the color black. Oh, that's a. Black, blacker or darker red actually right here, which is uh, pretty nice. It's a pretty nice thing It really is so that is of course as you can see it right now It's a good thing with the with all these certain kind of stuff It is definitely something that's worth mentioning right here in the game But we're gonna go ahead and buy this I think I already did it and then we're gonna get out to actually check it out So we got two of the bisons. I accidentally bought two, but yeah Right here we do have them, it's the TM120 TM that I just bought right there. We want of course to have the TM155 since that is the most powerful one of this series. So we want that to be in here of course. And we're gonna take this, um, we want the engine set up to be TM155 which has, yeah also that says 155 horses but 
yeah, it has more horses than the 120, that's obviously. So right here we do have it. Once again, it's a good looking tractor. I'm not gonna say that much about it other than it is a good looking tractor, of course. Let's jump into the TM120 right here, FSI19PE. I don't know what that says or why it says that. Um, I don't actually know, but that is just how it is right here. And you can also put a front, a front linkage on this New Holland TM series right here. And that is like really cool that you can actually go ahead and do that. Uh, if I'm going to this right here, I can probably go ahead and get into the header option. And it's just going to be in headers and we're going to take the C right there. I'm going to go ahead and try to put that on and hit up to the field to see how this machine actually manages around the field. And I think it's going to be pretty dope when I get up there. Of course, I really surely hope so. So that is, of course, something that you guys can stay tuned for as always. So if we get around right here. <laughs> I mean like the colorway of this right here doesn't suit it that well when it has like the darker red like the machine itself So that's a little bit special to be driving around with this certain kind of colorway right here of course But that is sometimes just as it is uh, I have to say so uh, that's cool. That's really cool and uh, That's like pretty dope and pretty gnarly I, I have to say when it comes to that of course so that's pretty cool. Pretty cool around these areas. Oh my god, what is that now? Let's get up here. Come on, man. I'm actually heading up to my field up here that I do own, I'm gonna go ahead and try to combine it. It's gonna be pretty cool to actually do that, I guess. I guess. I do actually guess. You first need to unfold, yeah, sure, I have to unfold that. That's cool. Right there, we have everything unfolded. Should be able to go ahead and trash this corn right here. Cool. That's like really cool right here. Just driving. Uh, just driving basically. It's actually pretty well right here, it's pretty well set up and pretty well working in, uh, in these kind of uh, things right here, it really is, so that's like good, that's really good. Uh, probably I'm gonna get one more message right here, I'm gonna kind of shut that Facebook thing down. Jesus Christ, it's my brother actually texting me all the time. Oh my gosh, could you please stop doing that right now at the moment? I'm actually working. I'm actually trying to trash this field and I don't have any radius system in it. As you can see, there's no cabin. So, um... Right, there we are. Uh, we actually go like pretty strong in these certain kind of things and uh... It seems to be pretty legit and pretty nice when it comes to that, of course. And I actually put out the straw right there, which is indeed okay uh, in these circumstances. But, uh, yeah, that's just how it is right here at the moment. And that's just how I actually think it should be. So, uh, that's cool. That's really cool. Mm. <laughs> Actually working quite well right here with the with the stuff of course. That's nice. Let's get this up. Yeah. Ooh. And it's like turning on a plate right here. You can see the tires just mingles right there actually. Which is indeed pretty well nice made in small tires right there so that it can actually turn like pretty pretty steep and pretty gnarly. And that's good at least. So yeah. 
once again i just have to say right here guys i just want to say thanks for watching uh we are probably going to go ahead and end this video but the tm series is out now you can go ahead and check a look at it it is a quite good looking tractor of course the tm 155 is a good looking tractor i've seen some of them with traction right here in denmark so yeah it is without further ado gonna be the end of this video so thanks again for coming in and tuning in on the channel we're gonna see you guys in the next one bye